Hi, I'm Peter Martin, an assistant professor of medicine at Weill Cornell Medical College in New York. Today I'm going to talk about a new clinical trial for people with diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. The purpose of this clinical trial is to evaluate the activity and safety of oral azacitidine in combination with R-CHOP chemotherapy in people with previously untreated diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. Diffuse large B-cell lymphoma is the most common lymphoma in the world. Roughly 20,000 people every year are diagnosed with diffuse large B-cell lymphoma in the United States. And fortunately, we're able to cure the majority of them with standard treatment regimens such as R-CHOP chemotherapy. Unfortunately, roughly 40% of people are not cured by R-CHOP. At Weill Cornell, for several years, we've been interested in learning why some people have lymphoma cells that are resistant to chemotherapy while other lymphoma cells are sensitive to chemotherapy. Work in our lab and in our clinic has shown that chemotherapy-resistant lymphoma cells frequently have genes that are inappropriately turned off and that long-term exposure to low doses of azacitidine can turn those genes back on, thereby resensitizing them to chemotherapy. In this clinical trial, participants will receive six cycles of standard doses of R-CHOP chemotherapy. In addition, participants will receive seven days of oral azacitidine prior to the first cycle and 14 days of oral azacitidine prior to cycles two through six. Participants are eligible if they have previously untreated diffuse large B-cell lymphoma or grade 3B follicular lymphoma. For more information about this trial or other lymphoma trials at Weill Cornell Medical College, please visit our clinical trials listings by clicking on this link. To make an appointment to see a lymphoma specialist, please call us at 646-962-2074. For more information about the lymphoma program, check out our website at cornell-lymphoma.com or click on the link.